slaughter your people. I'm going to slaughter your people. Mark my face. It will be the last thing you see on this earth. It will be the last thing you see on this earth. My power shall be with you wherever you go. Able to fly without wings. On this day, if this be our destiny, if this be our destiny, so be it. So be it. Wow. Wow. I never did see that movie, King Arthur. It looks pretty cool. Uh, well, I do know another story, though, and let's get talking about 8.4 scientific notation here. Uh, yeah. So, we're going to talk scientific notation. You may have seen it, may have done it. Hopefully, it's a review or a refresher. I'm going to start off with a little story here. I think it's equally as cool as King Arthur. Uh, it's a different king. Maybe you know this guy familiar with uh, the evil King Sully. Back in the day, old school feudalism, like serious old school. This was the evil king of his kingdom, and uh, he was mean to his people. He took all their money and all that stuff, and they were starving. They were, uh, they were all in trouble. So uh, one day, this little serf came up to him, really smart dude. Maybe his name was Sir, Surf Brust or something like that. He said, listen, king, we're all dying here. We're in trouble. He knew the king loved chess. He's like, man, all you got to do is put on one grain of rice on the first square of the chessboard. Then when you wake up tomorrow, go ahead and double it. So it will be two grains of rice. Then the next day, double it. Four. Next day, eight. Maybe you see the pattern. What's next? That's right. 16, 32, 64. So double, 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 double. 128. So the king saw he laughs. He's like, you're a silly man. All this rice, even if you add up, is nothing. That's like a bowl of rice. That's nothing. So the king's like, sure, whatever, dude. If that keeps everybody from revolting, uh, then no problem. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that. So he makes the bet with this little surf, and he says, sure. So my question is, how much, you know, if he keeps this pattern going up and around this little chessboard, putting on grains of rice, grains of rice, grains of rice, when he finally gets to that last one, how much rice is he going to have to put on last square? So pause it, think about it, try it, see if you can keep the pattern going. On day zero, he's got one. Day one, he's got two. Day two, he's got four. Keep that pattern going. Pause it. Really try it. Think about it. Really pause it. Did you pause it? Hopefully, all right, you pause it. All right, here we go. All right, welcome back. Here's the answer. Let's see it. So let's see. D you know, day zero, he's got this. This is day one, day two, day three. So we're looking at our days here. So my question is, how, first of all, how many? This is uh, eight by eight. So we're looking at 64 squares. So we're looking at day 64 here. So how in the world are we going to find day 64? Well, if uh, well, hopefully we got a pattern here. Day one, he's got two. Then he's got two times two. Then he's got two times two. Then he's got two times two. So if you look at 16, that's really two to the fourth power. Check that out. 2 to the 4th power. So really this is just 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7th. So what am I looking for here? Not a problem. I'm looking at 2 to the 64th power. Let's just, uh, let's just see what the calculator says that number is. 2 raise that bad boy to the 64th power. How much rice is going on there? 1.8 grains of rice. What in the world is 1.8 grains of rice? That makes no sense to me. Holy cow, let's take a look. What is the calculator saying? It is saying 1.84, and then check this out, this E19. What is that E? It's actually scientific notation. Uh, let's see, can I copy that picture in here? Let's see if I can copy that in here, because I want to I have that. That's what the calculator is telling me here. Holy cow, let's expand this to get an idea of what we're talking about here. So 2 to the 64, the calculator is going to say 1.84. Four, four, six, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to round it here. And that E means times 10 to the what power? 19th power. Is that a lot of rice? Are we talking about a lot of rice here uh, in that scientific notation? I don't know. What does this mean? It means move the decimal 19 times. So it was 1.8444. So I'm going to move that decimal. That's supposed to be a four. It's a bad looking four. I move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 times. And what am I going to do? I'm going to fill that bad boy in with zeros. Is this a big number? Holy cow, I'm still writing zeros, still writing zeros, still writing zeros, still writing zeros. Wow, check that thing out. 
That is a crazy big number. So that is a big number. In fact, let's say, let's get, so it looks a little pretty. I've got one, eight, four, four. How many zeros here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen zeros. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and now let's put the comma in so we can start looking at them. If I put a comma here, we're talking that's thousand. Six zeros, we're talking like million. Now we're talking billion. Now we're talking trillion. I don't know what's after that. I'm going to say quad, quadillion. Is that, I'm making stuff up here. Five quintillion, 18 quintillion. Sounds pretty good. It's a really, really big number. And check this out. I rounded. Remember, I just got rid of this six right here. So what did I get rid of? I got rid of this crazy amount of rice, so but I rounded that. It's even more rice. This is an absurd amount of rice. There's no way the King Solly, he got duped. There's no way he could ever pay that amount of rice. That would feed people for a long, 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 long time. Uh, and I think someone told him not to make the bet. Who told him not to do that? Oh, it was his lovely uh, Queen Kelevere. Uh Yeah, I can't look at that anymore. i got to put that away. That's ridiculous. So King Solly got duped. Um... Let's talk scientific notation. That's my goal is we're doing scientific notation. Why are we doing it? Takes care of really, 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 really big numbers. Or especially in science, you get some really, really, really small numbers. So we need some notation because I don't want to write 16 zeros like that. Crazy. Calculator is not going to do it either. It's going to give you this E. So E doesn't mean error. It's a real number. It means scientific notation. Let's check it out. Uh, next slide. All right, here we go. Let's get down to business. Look at some scientific notation. So let's go ahead and uh, work this out right now. I've got a scientific notation. I want to expand it. I want to kind of talk a little bit more about why it works. Remember, 10 to the third really means what? It means 10 times 10 times 10. And what is 10 times 10 times 10? It's 1,000. So scientific notation looks like this. It's a number. It's three times really 1,000. So what happens here? It's usually the decimal, like this is 3.0. I'm going to move it one, two, three places. So I'm really looking at what? Yeah, 3,000. So that's why it works. That's why we're using this for really, really big numbers. How about over here? As soon as I see this negative sign, I know it's going to be a small number. Negative means smaller number. Positive is bigger numbers. Why is that? Well, it's really like saying 7 times what is a negative exponent means. Well, it means move it to the bottom of the fraction. So it really means this, 1 over 10 squared. Well, what is 1 over 10 squared? This is like saying uh, 10 squared is 100. So it's like 7 times... One hundredth, and what does that give you? It gives you seven hundredths. Or think about this. This is like 7.0, and what's this mean? It means move the decimal one, two places to the left. So we're really looking at 0 0.07. Aha, that is seven hundredths, just like this, seven hundredths. So that's why it works. So just move that decimal around uh, for big or small numbers. How about this? What if I give it to you in decimal form? So now it's in the decimal. I want to write scientific notation. The key is we want to write one number then the decimal, then whatever numbers are after it, times 10 to some power. So what's it going to be if I look at this? Small number. It's a decimal, and it moves one, two, three times. So it's small. It's got to be a negative. I'm going to say times it by negative third. Moved it three times. How about over here to this guy? This really means what? Big number, and I want to go one number, then the decimal, 7.1 times 10 to the what power is this going to be? It looks like it's going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 6.71 to the six. Fantastic. Moving on. So we're okay with that. What about this? Holy cow, that's weird. Yes, that is a zipper tongue, it looks like, but I'm not talking about the zipper tongue. I'm talking about this problem. Is that in scientific notation? It's not. Scientific notation is going to be a number, then the decimal, 5.68 times 10 to some power. Is it wrong? I mean, no, it's not wrong. It's just not our normal format, so can we change it? Well, sure, one method would be just to expand it. I've got 4.5, or I'm sorry, 45.68 times 10 to the fifth, so I can move the decimal one, two, three, four, five places to the right. So I'm really looking at this number, four, five, six, eight, one, two, three zeros after that. So now, could I take that and bring it back? Sure, the decimal's here. I could go one, two, three, four, five, six places back and say it's 4.568 times 10 to the 6th. Or what if you want to think about if it's a, you know, if you're going to move this 1 to the left, if I'm moving it 1 to the left, all I'm going to do is add 1 to this exponent, which is going to give me the 6. So if you're moving it left, 
Just go ahead and add one to your exponent, makes it one bigger, so it takes care of that move there. So again, does it work for a negative? Sure, this is a small number over here. Uh, I want to make it, for scientific designation, 2.47. If you're at a loss, just expand it and bring it back. If you think you can handle it, I move this one more to the left, so what I got to do, I got to add one to negative six, and this is really going to be negative five. So it's okay, we got things that are weird, put them in scientific notation. Fantastic. So how does it relate to this chapter? Like what's going on with our exponents? Well, obviously there's exponents in this. We still have a product rule, power rule, quotient rule. Sometimes we like to multiply really, really big numbers, and it's the same. You treat numbers just like numbers. Now you can have an option. You can do all this on the calculator, or you can just follow our rules from last time. It's your choice. Uh, if I was following the rules, I would treat numbers just like numbers. So I would say multiply those, and then it's going to be times 10 to, what's the rule when I multiply exponents? Same base of 10, negative 3 plus 2. It's going to be to the negative 1. So on the calculator, what would I do? I would treat my numbers like numbers, so 4.9, and I'm going to times it by 2.8. And what's that going to give me? 13.17. So I know this is 13.1. I'm sorry, 13.72, so times 10 negative 1. Is that in scientific notation, though? No, it's not. So that's why I had that last that weird slide. i got to move it one more left, so it's really 1.372 times 10 to. So what do I do? I bump this up one. Well, it's at negative 1. What does that bump up 1 to? Just 0. And really, what is anything that is 0 power? It's just 1. So this is 1.37 times 1, so 1.372. So that's the answer. If you prefer, though, and I would probably just go ahead and do this, is instead of, if you're going to use a calculator anyway, I would just put all in parentheses and multiply it out. You've got 4.9 uh, times 10, raise that bad boy to the negative third. That's the first part. Just make sure you use your parentheses. Then do times it by what? 2.81 times 10. And there is a squared button right here, or you can go carrot to your choice. I'm just going to square it. And hit enter. What's going to happen here? Look at that, 1.372. That's what we came up with the other way, but the calculator will do it for you. Awesome. Let's do the next one. Again, if you want to, you can treat numbers like numbers. 3.7 squared, 10 to the negative 6 to the, raise that to the power of 2 is negative 12. Or let's just type it all in here. I'm looking at 3.7 times 10 to the negative 6. And I'm going to close that parentheses, and I'm going to square it all. Enter that, and what do I got? I've got 1.369e to the 11th. But really, I don't. I'm not. We're not going to take e as an answer. Don't put e on a test or a mastery check or anything like that. I'll be wrong. What does this mean? It really means 1.369, very small number, times 10 to the negative 11. Move that 11 times. You've got a really, really small number. Awesome. How about the bottom one here? What do we would do with this quotient rule? And my number is crazy, 7, 15, 11, sorry about that. Uh, just divide, divide your numbers. This one I may do, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then what is my rule for dividing? 3 divided by 5, subtract them, so it should be this, 3 to the negative 2. But again, let's say I want to use my calculator to do this. You can totally use your calculator. It's going to be 12 times 10 raised to the third. And I'm going to divide that guy by what? 4 times 10 to the 5th. Just to make sure we did it right. Um, I got my parentheses in the right spot. Yeah, they got all my parentheses. Hit enter. And check it out. It told me 0 0.03. So that's actually decimal notation. This is in scientific notation. Your calculator can do any one you want. If you go here to mode, uh, blue says quit. The mode is the white one. You got a lot of options in here. Really, it's this top row I'm looking at. I'm in normal. That's where we normally like to be. If you slide this over to scientific, though, you're in scientific notation now. Now, when you go back, quit on out. If I just hit enter again, it's going to give it to me. There it is, 3e negative 2. So 3 times 10 negative 2. So if you like scientific notation, change your mode to scientific. If you don't, bring it back to normal because uh, it's always going to give you e no matter what you do when you're in the scientific notation. Awesome. Try these three right here. If you get these right, you're in business. Uh, good luck. All right, here we go. So I was able to uh, punch these in my calculator over here, and I came up with these answers here. So I just did a little screenshot. Type it in up here. I get 3.00. 
8E5, remember that really means this, put in scientific notation, 3.008 times 10 to the 5th. To the next one, I got this one. If you expand it all the way out, huge number right there. And the last one, do division, be careful with the parentheses, you shouldn't end up with this. So calculator is a nice tool in this. If you can just switch it uh, over to scientific mode, you should be good to go. Uh, good luck. We're going to end here with a little math game show fail. And uh, good luck on the master check. Peace out. You want first grade math? Yeah, sure. First grade math. All right. And here's the question. If you added up all the whole numbers from 10 through 15, what would the total be? If you added up all the whole numbers from 10 through 15, what would the total be? So the whole numbers are just the odd numbers. So I'm going to say 17. 17. All right. <laughs> are kind of traveling through space we're looking at 10 to the 10th meters which is a 10 million kilometers so it's kind of putting things in perspective using side dictation these are huge numbers like this is the Sun coming up at us right now so we're looking at things 10 to the 10th power for meters so it kind of puts in perspective these really really big numbers versus the really small numbers this is Nikon's universal scale really cool if you have time check out the website or sit back relax enjoy here comes some other things in our solar system you may know you can put some in size for their scale so check out the couple things with jupiter saturn a little bit smaller to put some in perspective it's going to finally hit earth and zoom in on really really small things so you can kind of track it on the bottom where we are what's happening so sit back enjoy if you got some time or just listen to the really cool music Thank mm -hmm. you.